Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the kitchen. This morning, I wanted to make you my favorite breakfast, and then I'm off for a little run in the park. So I just wanted to show you uh, my favorite breakfast, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Uh, keep in mind, there is no measurements, just ingredients. And you can take or leave whatever you like. All right, let's go over the ingredients. First of all, cast iron skillet. Got to have that. Um, actually, you got to have that because we're going to put this meal in the oven. Um, hash browns. Sp specifically, hopefully you have um, the diced O'Brien type hash browns. Or they could be shredded. But hash browns, with you know, or you can add your own flavoring like... Um, uh, green peppers and onions and such if you if you would have only plain hash browns uh, Mushrooms leave them or take them take them or leave them if you don't like uh, mushrooms, you know, you can leave them out um, Onions just you don't even have to make them all nice and square or, or nice and um, Small just chop up some onions best you can see They're not even very well chopped you know, th this is breakfast. You just want to get it in and get it out so you can get on with your day. So, and then of course, you're going to need, need two eggs. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the hash browns into the pan after I get it heated up with some oil. So, I'm going to oil the pan with uh, olive oil and then put the hash browns in and the onions and the um, uh, mushrooms and get that all sauteed up. Let's do that, step number one. Um, and how much do you use when I say you don't measure? Just enough to make a bed, because we're gonna put the eggs on top of the uh, hash browns. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now, once you get all your mushrooms and onions and potatoes all kind of sauteed, um, you make a little bed like this, and then you put your eggs on it. I may have forgot to tell you to preheat your oven on the high broil, so ho hopefully you've already done that. Well, I don't know how you would if you didn't hear me say it, but pre make sure your oven is preheated to high broil, all right? Not 350 degrees, but high broil, broil and high. Then you put your eggs on the bed. Make sure you... And like I said, you have to have a cast iron skillet because you're gonna put this little baby in the oven. Turn your oven timer to four minutes and then put it in the oven. All right, now, don't forget to turn your oven off. I always get excited when uh, I see this and it gets me excited. I forget to turn the oven off. Um, see, you got your yolk, still yolky, and they're on the bed of hash browns, mushrooms, and onions, and it's smelling so good, so good, so good. So, now, the trick is, how do you get it to the plate? So the trick is, you use two spatulas and come from the sides to get your egg on a bed onto the plate. Now the bonus here is, I like to add an apple fritter. I usually get that like from Kroger's or something like a day before and you kind of microwave it for like 35 seconds and get it nice and tender and I use the apple fritter see how soft it is I use the apple fritter to suck up my yolk now if you don't like runny yolk you keep it in there for another minute make it five minutes when it's in the oven and then that yolk will be solid but runny yolk dipped with an apple fritter washed down with a cold glass of orange juice is mm, 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 good. I'm just saying. So here you go. This is a breakfast that only took me 
roughly 20 25 minutes to make all right so uh enjoy and enjoy the rest of your day that my friends was my favorite breakfast two eggs on a bed of hash browns mm -hmm. and then baked in the oven what is your favorite breakfast <laughs>